Look behind the glass vessel, there is a part that is hidden and not made prominent, namely the Holy Grail. As in the penitent Magdalene painting, the Holy Grail logo reappears on the cloth Mary Magdalene wore. There's a Holy Grail symbol in Caravaggio's painting, is that real? Supper at Emmaus is a painting by the Italian Baroque master Caravaggio. It was created around 1601 and depicts the moment when Jesus Christ reveals himself to two of his disciples after his resurrection. The painting is known for its dramatic use of light and shadow to create a sense of spirituality and otherworldliness. The surprised expressions on the faces of the disciples and the dramatic illumination of the scene are hallmarks of Caravaggio's style. The Supper at Emmaus, a popular theme in Christian art, represents the story, told in St. Luke's Gospel when after the crucifixion. Two of Christ's apostles invite an apparent stranger, whom they have just met, to share their meal with them. When he blesses and breaks the bread, they realize that their guest is, in fact, the resurrected Christ. Saint Luke names one of the apostles as Cleopas, but he does not identify the other. And their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished out of their sight. Behind them, the innkeeper gapes uncomprehendingly. Caravaggio has chosen to represent one precise moment, namely that fraction of a second after the two apostles have realized that they are witnessing a miracle of unimaginable power. He freezes that moment, renders it permanent and enables us to take our time, to consider the miracle and to experience for ourselves that sense of shock and astonishment that was felt by the two apostles. It is not certain for whom Caravaggio painted his supper at Emmaus, but we do know that it was made in Rome, probably in 1602, at the height of the Counter-Reformation. But there are other opinions which state that this painting does not depict the figure of Jesus. Here's the reason. Caravaggio invested his religious painting with a strong sense of drama through his handling of light and shadow, chiaroscuro. Although lacking a precise definition, the fine art term chiaroscuro, from the Italian for light dark, or the French clair obscure, describes the prominent contrast of light and shade in a painting. He creates the ambience of bright illumination despite no signs of candles, torches or lanterns. The shadow of this painting shows the light coming from the right angle, you can see the shadow line is different from the light source from the lamp or candle, like a room that is lit by the morning sun. Because the reflection of light evenly fills the entire room. The main figure shows the feminine side depicting a woman, clearly different from the depiction of Jesus depicted by Caravaggio as in the previous painting. All previous paintings of the Supper at Emmaus, mostly painted in the 15th and 16th centuries portray Christ with a beard, it is in the early Christian mosaics. In Luke 24 30-31 Jesus took the bread and said the blessing, then he broke it and handed it to them. But in the painting, there are three pieces of bread that are still intact and not broken. The Bean Eaters is a painting by Nibale Karachi. Dated between 1584 and 1585, please see the bread, same shape and still intact. One of the painting's areas of controversy lies in the purpose of the fruit basket. Caravaggio placed it centrally as it was symbolically entwined with Christ's resurrection and the tradition of the first fruits. In classical Greek, Roman, Hebrew and Christian religions, the first fruits were religious offering of the first produce of the harvest which was offered to the temple or church. The choice of fruit on the table is, however, surely deliberate, for combined with the other items on the table, it has a symbolic meaning. Bad apple, or rotten apple, is indeed defined as someone who creates problems or causes trouble for others, specifically, a member of a group whose behavior reflects poorly on or negatively affects or influences the remainder of the group. Then what is the other meaning of grapes? In ancient Roman and Greek culture, grapes were a symbol of romance, love and fertility. A 
stray piece of wicker sticking out from the basket appears to show an ancient Christian symbol. The act, intended to help one acknowledge the presence of a Christian, is clearly relevant to a painting devoted to the very subject of spiritual recognition. By conscientiously accenting only a portion of the ichthys outline by casting a sliver of light on one of the loose twigs while keeping the other, behind it, in relative shadow. Caravaggio approximates the rustic ritual of inscribing one half of the fish symbol. From there, an acceptance of the overture to recognize the miracle at hand is entirely up to the observer of his work. Whether we chose to receive the gesture is up. Look closely at the silhouette that the pile of fruit casts onto the shroud-like tablecloth to the right of the wicker bowl. There, an even more emphatic shape of a fish, with a sharp lunate tail fin forever flipping behind it, can be seen sailing headlong into the basket, pulling our gaze with it in its wake. Cleopas wears the scallop shell of a pilgrim. Fertility is also associated with the scallop shell, as exemplified in ancient and Renaissance paintings of Venus, the Roman goddess of fertility and love. All the mysteries and symbols in this painting are related. What exactly is Caravaggio trying to tell us? The key to all the answers is in this glass vessel. Let's put together this puzzle. Glass vessels also appear in Caravaggio's painting The Repentant Magdalene. All the mysteries are slowly revealed, that the main character in the painting is actually Mary Magdalene, not Jesus. According to John 2011 11-18, Mary Magdalene, who was alone in the garden of the cemetery, saw two angelic figures sitting where Jesus' body had been laid. Jesus then appeared to him. Jesus then told him to tell the good news of his resurrection to the apostles. The Gospel of John thus presents Mary Magdalene as the first apostle, that is, the apostle sent to the apostles. So, this painting actually tells of Mary Magdalene's meeting with the other apostles. Other symbols corroborate the evidence that Caravaggio wanted to tell the truth. Some other opinions say the fruit basket is a hidden message from Caravaggio to criticize the church and explain the intention that Mary Magdalene is often considered bad apple. And some argue that the symbols of fertility hint at the most sensitive thing, namely Mary Magdalene is pregnant and bears the child Jesus. Look behind the glass vessel, there is a part that is hidden and not made prominent, namely the Holy Grail. As in the penitent Magdalene painting, the Holy Grail logo reappears on the cloth Mary Magdalene wore. With the hand holding the belly and the Baroque tradition indicating she is pregnant. Caravaggio painted another version of the supper at Emmaus, now in the Brera, Milan, in 1606. By comparison, the gestures of figures are far more restrained, making presence more important than performance. The art techniques used in both versions is the trompe style which seems to allow characters to move in their gestures, as a means to grab the attention of the observers. This difference possibly reflects the circumstances of Caravaggio's life at that point, he had fled Rome as an outlaw following the death of Renaccio Tomassoni, or possibly, recognizing the ongoing evolution of his art, in the intervening five years. He had come to recognize the value of understatement. There are many Caravaggio paintings that hold many mysteries have not been solved until now. Caravaggio's works are still remembered today. Everything that is explained is just a personal opinion because of the fact that only the painter knows it. Thank you for watching.